Okay, let's do it. If combining calisthenics and weightlifting is what you enjoy, then you're just like me. Let's be friends. This is day one of the Complete Physique Training Program, which is a program that I wrote, and I thought it would be awesome to give you guys a sample of what this program offers. After a 15 minute warm up, just to get the heart rate up and to get some of your range of motion restored, if you just woke up, if you're feeling stiff, do that, and then let's get straight into our calisthenics portion. First exercise is our planche lean. You can see I'm using P-bars, but you can just use this on flat and all you need is some open space. We're going 15 seconds for three sets and I have my stopwatch ready to time that. Focus here is obviously keeping straight arms. If this is a new way of exercising for you, keeping the arms locked straight, you really have to be mindful of not bending the elbow. For me, this is my life is planche, so this is going to be a pretty easy session today because I just maxed out my full planche the other day. So strong protraction of the shoulders, depression of the shoulders, and a nice hollow body position. I'll rest about 90 seconds and then go back to this again. Two more rounds. We're now moving on to planche presses. And the implication here is pressing compared to just isometric holds is gonna be more demanding for you. So all levels of every exercise of the calisthenics progressions are available on purchase of the program. But let me just show you what level one would be for the planche press. It would be our tuck planche variation strong protraction and we would just be using our feet to help pull up into our tuck planche. For me today I'm going to go five repetitions of pressing into planche and lowering back down with full body weight so no feet assisting. Now that we've finished the straight arm portion of the program today, we're gonna to move on to some bent arm push and bent arm pull. And just to be time efficient, we're gonna combine it into a superset with one minute rest in between each exercise. So I'm going to be doing the chest to wall handstand push up variation, but don't worry, that's at the level five and beyond in terms of progression. I'll show you two regressions that you can do. Keep in mind there are five built within the Complete Physique program. That you'll, get an ac that you'll get access to when you click the link to go to the video as part of the program. But I'll just show you two today to give you guys an idea of where you can start with your handstand push up. One extra I'll give you guys is you can see both have some demand on hamstring flexibility. So if you have very tight hamstrings, you have two options. You can do a tuck variation. So your knees are on the bench. No demand on hamstring here. If that is still too difficult, the tucking variation, Stick with the pike, but you have to reduce your range of motion. These yoga blocks will now be the target for my forehead. For pull-ups, yes, it is assumed five reps at body weight can be your starting point but it is totally fine to not be at that point yet. You will just opt for a lower bar and to use feet assistance to get those five. There is definitely room here to use your feet to assist for the concentric and try use more of your upper body strength and less feet to control the negative down. If you handstand, you'll see my hand position is a little bit wider than what I would normally handstand. This just gives me, I feel a little bit more strength in this position because my forearms remain vertical in the bottom position. And that's the Cali portion of today done. We now move on to our weightlifting and this is gonna be session 1.2. So the way I've structured this program is you can do the weightlifting portion at the end of the day, the Cali at the start of the day. You can do them both on the same day, which is what we're gonna do back to back to be time efficient or you can do it one day, let's say Monday is Cali and Tuesday is weightlifting. So the first exercise, we have two. The first one is back squat. I don't mind if you do this low bar or high bar, 
but your main aim should be to squat to at least 90 degrees. If you need to make that happen via heel elevation or using a box to guide your position, you can do that. Just making sure you're not sitting down on the box, you're just using it to get that tap and standing back up to teach yourself the depth. So I personally am being conservative with the weight with squats. It's not something that's been part of my program recently with my higher priority being sprinting. If you see me doing this low bar and it looks like I wanna do high bar, it's because the low bar is newer to me coming from this Olympic lifting background. I'm also squatting this way just for the camera. You should be facing the other way really. <laughs> The Complete Physique offers you to go down the path of improving Cali and maintaining weights or improving weights and maintaining Cali. The sample program you're seeing today is going down the route of improving our Cali and maintaining this. So the squat and what's coming next is meant to be an RPE of about six. Three reps in reserve of technical failure. That's how you know you're choosing the right weight. My knees are like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you haven't squat for years. All right, we finished with deadlifts, five repetitions for three sets. This is a mix of conservative and potentially challenging because I haven't deadlift for a while, but I'm pretty good at deadlift or I feel built for deadlift. It's not an excuse to go heavy though. Not too heavy anyway, when this is our maintenance block. Just like squats doing high bar, low bar, you can certainly do sumo if that's your game. I'm doing conventional because it's what I've done all my life. I'm not changing now. And we are done. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout for building the complete physique. If that is something you would be interested in, you can just take this workout, but if you want the full program, grab the Complete Physique program, available from the link in the description down below. And if you wanna learn more about the Complete Physique, what is this about? Check out this video here.